hey, Emma, back from a run? Oh, 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 oh. yes, yes, give me one second. Here's a towel, you look a little sweaty, so. You, oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. You're starving and need a little treat. Oh, 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 um, 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 oh, of course. <laughs> Some water. Hey. I'm a oh. hero. I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Press Play. You know what, Jay? No. Tell me. I had never tried running before, unless I was being chased, so I started trying to run a little every day. It's really fun, but I get so mm. thirsty. It makes me wish God made me more like a camel. Mm. Like, like with a hump on my back, full of water. Oh, no, I get it. Do you? Yeah, I mean, there's animal traits I wish I had. Yeah, like what? Well, for starters, my pet hamster Harrison can store food in his cheeks. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> yeah. And chameleons can change their color to camouflage themselves. Like this. See, I'm blending in with the plants. You can't even see me. Uh, I, I, I can see you, Jay. Well, I'm no chameleon. <laughs> I'd still choose a camel hump for storing water. Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting. Hey. Could you store other drinks in there? Like Kool-Aid? A Kool-Aid camel? Can you imagine? <laughs> Speaking of imagining things, you know what I'm thinking? Yes. Three, Three two, one, press play! play! Whoa! <sighs> well. No camel humps, but we're definitely in the desert. <sighs> I wonder if we'll run into any, um... Oh. Hello! Oh, wow! Hi! It's a camel! Yep, the name's Carrie. Carrie the camel. <laughs> and I am so happy to meet you both. I'm Emma. And I'm Jay. Emma and Jay, how wonderful. I am grateful to have met you. And just know we will be quick friends. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we were kind of hoping to get humps on our back to store water, like you have. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this hump on my back? I thank God for it every day. <laughs> yeah, hey, um, did you happen to win the lottery or something lately? Yeah, or like have the best night's sleep last night? Um, no, why? Well. It's just you're so happy. <laughs> yeah, like you fell out of the happy tree and hit every branch on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that was funny. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> Thank you for the laugh, it's so good to laugh. I, I, I mean, no offense, but aren't you guys supposed to be grumpy? I heard camels spit at people. Oh. <laughs> yes, we camels can be kind of a downer. My Uncle Kermit is as grumpy as a billy goat in the winter. <laughs> That's fun to say. As grumpy as a billy goat in the winter. Words are so fun. I'm thankful for words. <laughs> so why are you so happy? I choose to be. Can I share a Bible story? Of course. Oh, yeah. It comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 17. Exodus 17, 1 says, the whole Israelite community set out from the desert of sin, traveling from place to place as the Lord commanded. Oh. But they were grateful the Lord was leading them, especially through a desert. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they could have been, but they weren't. Oh. Instead, when they got thirsty, it says in verse 17, 2, they quarreled with Moses and said, Give us water to drink. Oof, so they weren't as grateful as you'd think. Yes, but they had reasons to feel grumpy and upset. Being worked and held as slaves. Uh, being victims of Pharaoh's army. Living in a land that was really far from home. <laughs> I'd probably be complaining too. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, you see, God was 
creating a special people to be an example for others. Mm. Uh, but the desert was making it difficult for them to trust and be thankful. God used this time to teach them. God loved them and wanted them to trust. And Moses was the man to ask them to try to trust. <laughs> so Moses confronted the people, but they just doubled down on doubt. They asked Moses why he had brought them out in the desert to die. Mm. Moses went to God and said in verse 17, 4, what am I to do with these people? What did God do? Even though the Israelites had not chosen to be thankful, God said in verse 6, I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb. Strike the rock and water will come out of it for the people to drink. God did that? God did that. Isn't God so good? <laughs> like giving me this hump on my back. Like allowing me to meet two new friends. <laughs> I am so thankful. <laughs> <laughs> but this story has a happy ending. My favorite kind of ending. <laughs> but Moses didn't forget the people's actions. So it says, Moses called the place Massa and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled and because they tested the Lord saying, is the Lord among us or not? So they got water, but they could have acted differently. Yes, Emma, you are very smart. <laughs> they could have chosen to be thankful just like we can choose to be thankful. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh what is that marvelous sound? It's abrupt. But fabulous. <laughs> we got a jet, Carrie. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been so great to meet such a joyful camel. <laughs> no doubt. Stoked that we got to chill with such a cool camel. Guys, my little camel's soul is singing. <laughs> well, do you want to do the secret handshake? <gasps> really? I, 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 it would be my pleasure, honor, Jay. It would, it would be a delight. <laughs> okay, Carrie, okay. we really got to go. <laughs> Okay, do the handshake with us. <laughs> what? No way, you got a hump and I didn't? That's... We can choose to be thankful. That's awesome. And I'm thankful that one of us got camel powers. Wow, and I was just messing around. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that looks so real. Okay, let me try, let me try, let me try. Oh, ouch. Well, I couldn't figure out the whole camel situation, but I did find a soccer ball. And, can a camel do that? Good job, Jay. <laughs> we pressed play and ended up in the desert where we met Carrie, who taught us about the Israelites in Exodus 17 and how they fought with Moses and complained instead of being thankful for what God had done. God provided for the Israelites again, but their actions reminded us that we can choose to be thankful. And do you know what time it is? <gasps> time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. Are you ready to drop the verse? Oh. Let's go. Woo! I am making a way in the wilderness, in the streams and the wasteland. I say a 43, 19. Isaiah 43:19. I am making a way in the wilderness and the streams in the wasteland. Isaiah 43:19. Isaiah 43:19. I am making a way in the wilderness in the streams and the wasteland. Isaiah 43:19. Isaiah 43:19. Okay. 